What is up YouTube, it's Team Judgment here, and it's Saturday on Super Heavy Samurais. I just picked this deck up straight after Sneak Peek, so there's one card I'm missing in the main deck. But um, other than that, it's just a really budget deck, really cheap deck, and I think that I'd pro it's a good deck to play if you're on a budget. I thought I'd profile it for you guys, and it's one of the first on YouTube in real life, I believe. So, yep, let's get straight in. Start off with the boss monster, the one proxy, triple Super Heavy Samurai Big Benkai. 3500 defense, which is really cool, and its ability to um, make all uh, super heavy samurais attack in defense position is unique in this game. I just love it. This is what makes the archetype. A this, was, this is the uh, offensive defensive card, which is really, really cool. It makes the archetype good. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, next up, triple super heavy samurai blue brawler. It's a store card, 2k defense. And you can read its effect if you can see that, but it's just really good, really good card. It allows for rank four access. So yep. Next up, triple super heavy samurai swordsman. He uh, is not as good as the other two, but I run him in here because of his effect that if an opponent destroys any super heavy samurai monster, the opponent's att monster's attack becomes zero permanently, and that's just really cool because uh, their problem cards like BLS or something, the attack permanently becomes zero, and you can just attack into it with this or something. So yep. Um, yeah, I just like this card and set it, and your opponent don't, well, they'll probably like attack into it, then but not knowing what it is, and the monster's attack becomes zero. So that's that's nice. I don't think you should run it free, but I'm running it free for now. Maybe two. You can cut it for another card, but um, three seems to be okay. Next card is that the card that really strings the deck together. Triple Giant Rat. This card is just insane. You can first set this special summon out big big Benkai second turn. So for Giant Rat is definitely good in this deck. Special summons out any of these monsters. So it really does help string the deck together and add to consistency. But just the ability to special summon from the deck is good. Just good. Um, for the rest of the monsters, two fire and two ice hand. Because they make any deck in Yu-Gi-Oh good. <laughs> Seriously though, it makes this deck competitive at least. And um, it helps, it definitely helps. So it helps deplete your opponent's resources, it helps going into rank 4s. So Fire and Ice in this deck, definitely. And for the one of one Redox, Dragon Ruler of Boulders, one Thunder King Ryo, because you really add to your hand in this deck. And then one Dinotherium, I'm just testing this to help go into rank 4s. Um, I know the guy who won Worlds uses in his deck, but um, these all the, these all here for testing right now as tech choices. You can change it up if you want, but um, that's what I'm testing. Yep, so that's the monsters, guys. On to the spells. Triple Portal Duality, because in this deck you don't special summon on your turn. All, all your special summoning is done on your opponent's turn via Giant Rat or the Hands. So, and you can argue that you special summon this, but that's nothing. So Triple Portal Duality, and it really does help. It helps with consistency so much. Something that this deck is lacking, it just helps with consistency. And if any deck that doesn't special summon, you can run Portal Duality in it. Definitely run Portal Duality in it. Never wave them, does mate. Okay. Triple Forbidden Lance. Because the only way your opponent will be able to get around your big Benkai is by using a card effect. So this just helps protect your big monster. And having one of these set one this card out is just really good. Because there's no way they'll be able to attack over that 3500. And I guess they could pop it with a monster effect or spell and trap. This is what negates. So I've been last in there for that reason. Um, and even if they could attack over it, minus 800. <laughs> unless they have a 4300 beater, that's going to be a bit, of, a bit of a problem So for them. So triple Forbidden Lance. And then... Triple mystical space death in because you can run it and I hate back row. <laughs> Seriously, I hate back row, so triple MST. Then text one machine duplication. You activate this on blue brawler and you special summon out two more instant rank four, so it's nice. Um one dark hole, a staple, one book of moon, a staple. So there's all the spells. On to the, well, the traps now. Double breakthrough, just the effect, effect negation is good. Breakthrough skills have always been better than Phoenix Chain in my opinion. Uh, double trap stun because um, this deck has ODK potential and you flip this uh, and you know you can go off or if you have two big, big Benkai out, flip this, normal summoner, no, blue brawler or something, attack the game and uh, it's really really cool. Trap stun definitely should be running this deck. One two deep prison, one compulse, one bottomless, one torrential and one solar warning. So those are the one of that is the 40 card main deck guys. So I'm not going to be now going over the extra deck. Extra deck is a bit of a work in progress. You can chuck in a Felgrand. It's only a 14 card extra deck. I don't have X tonight or 101. So um, cut out any of the rank 4s of those. I lent my 101 to my friend at the moment. So yeah, for the freeze Because you can make them very rarely. But I just needed to fill up some space in the extra deck. So make with Dungeoneer. Asagolem. Zen Mains. And Levia. Levia you can bring back cards you banish via um, Redox. So that's nice. 
So the fours, Utopia, Roach, Diamond Dyer, Kin, Gorgon, and Luminescent Knight, Maystroke, Cowboy, Black Ship, Heartland Draco, and then because you can make it in Giga Nix, uh, you can make this card, and you definitely um, can make good use of it as well by adding like battling boxes. Not why do I keep calling this archetype battling boxes? But um, yeah, it's, it's similar to battling boxes. The archetype is definitely good, guys. Don't like hate on the archetype. It's decent. It it's competitive to a certain degree, but like I just. I wouldn't take this to regionals, but I'll do okay at locals, I suppose. Um, it's a fun deck, and I like the way Konami introduced this new type of mechanic, as in being able to attack whilst in defense position. Very nice. So, guys, um, comment down below your thoughts on the deck. And this is Team of Judgment here, signing out.